is uh, Cooking with Love. On this episode of Cooking with Love, I'm going to show you my version of homemade beefaroni. When my kids were young, they used to love this dish. It's one of the few things that they all agreed to eat at the same time. <laughs> and you know how that can be. It's very, very easy to put together. Um, and uh, I'm at my sister Beverly's house today. And uh, I told them, I told Beverly and Barbara that I'd be making lunch. So let's get started. Some uh, beef, or in this case, I'm using meatloaf mix. Some uh, pasta, and I, I like to use rotini for this, but you could also use penne. Uh, some sauce, and I'm, today I'm using a jar of sauce. You could also use your own homemade sauce if you have it. An onion, which is I'm going to dice that up. Uh, for our uh, spices, we have some uh, salt, pepper, some oregano, basil, and parsley. Uh, some minced garlic, some uh, grated Parmesan cheese, and some whole milk shredded mozzarella. I put a uh, pot of salted water on to boil for our pasta, and now I'm going to start cooking up our uh, onions. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of the pot. And let that come to temperature. It's on medium heat. First I'm going to add our onions and I'm just going to cook them until they start to become translucent. Our onions are becoming translucent. Now I'm going to add our garlic in. And we're going to cook this for about a minute. Alright, next step is we're going to add our meat. And again, this is a meatloaf mix that I choose for you. I think it comes out nice. Uh, if you are using ground beef and it's, uh, say, less than 85% uh, or so, you'll have to drain out the extra grease. But I find with the meatloaf mix, uh, I, I don't have to drain it. Our uh, salted water has come to a boil. I'm going to place the pasta in it. I'm going to cook this till al dente and I'm just going to use the package directions. Our meat is all browned. Next I'm going to add all the spices. Give that a good mix and cook for about a minute. All right, now I'm going to add our can of sauce or dough sauce. allow this to the meat to cook in the sauce for about 10 minutes. Makes a nice ragu here. Our pasta is cooked till al dente. I'm just going to drain it and add it to our sauce that's simmering. And the pasta will finish cooking in the sauce. All right, now I'm just going to make sure all the pasta is coated evenly. And we're going to allow this to continue cooking about another five minutes. All right, we're going to add our grated Parmesan cheese and stir that in good. Then we add our mozzarella and once again stir it in and we're going to allow this to continue cooking just until all the cheese is melted and then we're ready to eat. Our uh, beefaroni is ready and now we're going to enjoy our lunch. Dig in. Looks good. Nice and cheesy. Very good. It's delicious, Steve. Mm. Yeah, this is real comfort food. And again, it's something I think the kids are really going to love. Very quick and easy to make. It's uh, nice for a lunch or a dinner. Give the recipe a try. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.